Hey chess lovers, welcome back to the chess yard. This is Thera Bagga, and today I'll be showing you one of the interesting chess games that I played a month ago. Now I was playing as white here, and it was a blitz five nuts. I started off with d4, open response with d5. I go bishop to g5. Uh, the idea with bishop to g5 is to prevent opponent play from playing e6 straight away. Opponent plays h6, trying to kick the bishop backwards. I go to h4. Uh, just trying to maintain that pawn pin for the time being. Opponent goes with a knight to c6, developing the knight. I go for uh, e3 here. Um, my bishop doesn't have to come back on this diagonal, so I can simply play the pawn forward. There's no uh, debate about that. Uh, opponent plays a6, trying to just prevent a bishop from being placed on b5 and pinning another piece. Already the pawn is pinned here. So. I went with c3 here, opponent plays bishop to f5. I offer a bishop trade uh, and opponent does oblige and I take back here. Developing the queen as well, uh, opponent goes with knight to f6. Finally trying to play pawn forward. I develop my knight as well or, or to f3 and now pawn to e6 by the opponent. I go on with knight to e5 which is a good square for white trying to take control of the center. Opponent goes with bishop uh, to e7, maybe preparing to remove the knight from here as well and trade off the bishops. Uh, and so I thought I'll just f first take on the knight. No, I developed the other knight on d2. I could have taken the knight. That was the best move as well. That spoils the opponent pawn structure. But sometimes this becomes an advantage as well because opponent will have the pawn break eventually or just push my queen backwards. So uh, I went with a knight to d2 first, open does take here and I take back with the pawn. Now the knight goes uh, back, uh, leaving the bishop hanging. So I thought I'll just save my bishop, not trade off the dark square bishops here, place it on g3, open pushes the pawn forward now, uh, which is c5 and I go with f4, uh, trying to make sure that if opponent takes on with the knight, now I can take back with the pawn as well. Uh, my bishop has a retrieval as well uh, and f4 is not bad at all so opponent goes with bishop to h4 trying to exchange i went with knight to f3 attacking the knight the bishop again so opponent can take here which does happen and take back with the pawn uh opening up the h file as well now i can castle on the queen side and attack on the other side uh opponent goes with a knight to b6 still not castling so I thought I'll just wait and get, got my queen onto e2. Now, if you're liking this video and it's being, uh, if you're finding it interesting, do subscribe to the channel, please, if you haven't already by now. And uh, another quality uh, thing about this channel is that you will get to have a video daily. Um, here my opponent plays queen to c7. Uh, I go with knight to g5. The opponent cannot take because lose the rook and then the second rook as well. So opponent plays king to e7, making sure that both the rooks are connected. I had to come back. Uh, opponent plays rook to d8, trying to break open from the center next. I can castle here. I just still waited, played pawn to a3. Uh, opponent goes with a knight to c4, hitting the uh, pawn here with the knight. I go with king to f2 making sure that my rooks are also connected. So both the kings are in kind of center, nobody castles, uh, and trying to be uh, defensive and aggressive from one side or the other. So I'm trying to defend the pawn here, uh, maybe trying to aggressively push my pawns from the other side of the board. Uh, Open goes with the queen to b6, pressurizing further on to b2, which I decide to save with the rook. Uh, here and then open goes with knight to a5 there allowing the, the, me to push pawns forward so here comes b4 open does take i take back with the rook now so that i have a pressure on the queen uh, queen goes to uh, c6 here uh, and i defend the pawn uh, on c3 which was hanging uh, with my rook on to c1 because there's no point nothing is opening up from here and something has opened up uh, from the other side of the world, why not shift over your pieces to attack from the other side? 
And now knight to uh, c4 by opponent, trying to grab a pawn maybe. Uh, I push the pawn first, uh, and then opponent tries to move the queen up. Uh, I didn't understand this idea, maybe trying to uh, pin my queen here, because then the opponent can take the pawn eventually. Uh, I went with a knight to d4 first, and then opponent plays pawn forward, trying to break open from the center. It's a bad idea now, because you're allowing me space uh, to attack you uh, and suddenly the pawn falls as well b7 rook takes on b7 now and can save with the rook but decides to go back instead now here's a checkmate pattern which i can do from here which is queen goes to h5 open plays pawn forward i take open moves and then it's checkmate from queen as well this is a checkmate as well i can take with the knight as well that's another checkmate option from there. So uh, it's a mate and three from there. Uh, but what happened here is after open goes back, I took on the uh, pawn first. That's a folk. I was interested in having some folks with the knight. So I did the knight move first. Open tries to attack the knight here. And I take on the rook. Open takes back, which allows me to give a check and grab the other rook. Uh, so before grabbing the other rook, I thought I'll just give another check by grabbing up three pawn. Uh, open takes back with the pawn, and then I take the rook. And in this position, my open resigns, uh, understanding that I have a lot of material advantage already. Uh, the rook is going to be nasty. We'll take the pawns. Queen is coming in uh, from here as well. The other rook is coming. So a lot of uh, stuff which can quickly enter the situation for my opponent and the king is in the center and yet very solid with all the pieces uh, covering up for the king uh, making sure that the king is in in a castle in the second row and defended with all the pawns and queen itself so yeah it was a nice game eventually didn't find the mate in three but making opponent resign is also nice i hope you enjoyed the video do let me your feedback keep watching and sharing Please do subscribe to the channel if you haven't already by now and I shall see you tomorrow with some interesting and instructive content at the same time. Thanks for your time. Take care. Bye-bye.